What is the point of living in proximity to each other if you aren't there for each other? Forming community and keeping it alive is the lifeblood of the neighborhood. Our neighborhood lines up exactly with Arsenal Technical High School to the east and Woodruff Place beyond that. East 10th Street is to the north, Michigan Street is to the south, and I-6575 is to the west. We came about when we did because they put in trolleys along Mass Ave that gave easy transportation to the neighborhood. So the earliest house I found in the neighborhood is 1870, and then we just grew until about 1900. It's been interesting as a historian to live in one place for such a long time, because I've been here 31 years, I believe. People thought we were crazy to buy here. It was, it was considered a bad neighborhood, and I felt that the neighborhood was about to be the next historic district. We bought the house for $500. It was the maybe spring of 83. It was very difficult to get any kind of construction money because banks were unwilling to give any loans for most of our inner city. The neighborhoods had some challenges starting in the 1970s or so where people were moving away from the heart of the city. I-6570 was going in. We also had businesses that were moving into the neighborhood and tearing down houses. So we really had an uphill struggle, but now we're on an uptick. First people see the houses, you know, because we have great front porches with turn posts. But then when you get deeper than that, you really start seeing the friendliness of the neighborhood. We're having a big increase in our density of population, which I think is so encouraging. We have a lot of kids now. When we moved here, I mean, there were not kids around, and now we have lots of families moving in. And it's wonderful to see people willing to have the urban experience to live downtown. I'm proud because I think we've been a part of something that has value. I never want to live any place else. I love the practicality of its location. We were close to downtown, but more so I think I just love all the people. It's a tiny place in a big city that makes you feel like you have a sense of belonging.